Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. Today we're going to talk about specialty TIG torches and why you would use one over the other. Now, you've seen me do several different shows, and one of my favorite torches for air cooled is the 9 or the 9F. I have one right here. It's a fairly small uh, torch. This torch only uh, handles 125 amps but most of the type of welding I do in TIG is under 125 amps. So anyway, this torch works great. It's a pretty uh, stubby torch, so it's very convenient to get into most places, uh, but it's, it's not always going to be the best when I need to get inside of a, a tight area like this right here. If I need to reach inside, you know, this torch, even if I put the little button back cap on, I can't get inside here. Uh, nor can I get into areas where I have a cluster or tubes. Um, you know, you get into the nuclear reactor industry and, and uh, ASME, you have to get inside these different areas to, to reach in and weld. This torch just doesn't do it. You know, and again, as much as I like it, um, there's just that specialty item where I have to pick a small torch. Now, I've done a couple of shows where I've used the little micro torch, and there's a couple of micro torches out there. I, I use the little CK one that's got three different heads. One's a straight head, one's got an angle on it, one's 90. And they work great, except they are so small, sometimes you can't get the amperage you need out of them, otherwise you burn up the head. And, you know, I'll break the cups, and, but <clears throat> I need a little bit more amperage for a longer period of time. So there's what I call a kind of an in-between torch. And you'll see it listed in many cases. It's called a 24 style torch. 24 style torch, very short torch. There's absolutely no back cap whatsoever on it. So you can get into tight areas. And you can see I can reach in here, not a problem at all. And I can reach in between these two tubes, three tubes. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate doing welding between the tubes like this. So this works out for me. Uh, now this particular project, you know, it's just a short-term project, so I'm using an air-cooled version of the 24. Now that also comes in a water-cooled version. So just know that you can go from a, uh, an 80 amp torch to a 180 amp torch just by going water-cooled. So you make the decision, same head, same cups. Um, I shouldn't say same head, same head size. Uh, this has a single line to it, the water cooler to have three lines to it. Now, to take matters further, us welders, we have a way of modifying standard product. I'll tell you a story on this one right here. This torch, if you buy the standard 24 components on it, it's a little bit longer. And uh, anyway, there was one gentleman that, that needed something just a little bit smaller, so he started modifying the torches. He started grinding down the cups and he got the cups a little shorter. He started grinding down the collet bodies, the collet bodies, and these are gas lens collet bodies which give you good gas coverage. And then he'd, uh, he'd shorten up the collet. So all of this was just something out of necessity. And uh, uh, CK decided rather than let the guy continue to, to manufacture them on, on his own, they named this setup after him. They call it the Osmo. So if you see that in any literature, there's an Osmo kit, and that's what we're going to show you. They're already cut down. You'll, you'll hear it called the cut down Osmo or something like that, but it fits on a 24 style torch. So uh, Osmo, from what I understand, is an abbreviation of the guy's name, which is several more letters than that. But uh, thank you, Osmo, for coming up with this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on and show you how this works.
Okay, well this is a this is a replica of something like a heat exchanger as well. So any of you that have gotten into those things, you only have access for a certain distance. So you can only get in two or three little dabs and then you have to reposition two or three more dabs reposition. That's that's the nature of the beast. So uh, I did about about an inch worth of welding here and uh, you can see some of the footage. But one of the things I want to comment on is the 24 style torch, like I was saying, is a standard type torch that a lot of us have. And once you put this Osmo kit on here, that gas lens gives you a lot better gas coverage. So just know that there, there's a huge difference. Uh, you know, so my, my hat's off to Osmo for having the need to do that and, and to grind them himself. And uh, also thank you CK for uh, putting them in, uh, in production so uh, all of us can have them as well. Thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.